What is the wrong money to a scorpion killer? And, uh... <laughs> if you're watching this, and you've been watching and didn't go watch the last video, I doubt it. <laughs> Maybe in the future, I don't know. Um, you might be wondering, how the hell did I get here? And wasn't I literally just got out of, like, uh, um... Didn't I... Like, Shouldn't I be in Hogwarts and not in Hogsmeade? How did I get this far? Well, you might be wondering what happened. I recorded. I got to this point right now. But then while I was editing, I realized something. My mic was on... My mic was, uh... <laughs> not working. So, in the, like, the game audio was fine. But it turns out... I was muted. <laughs> so I ended up deleting the footage, and I, but I wanted to keep playing this game and keep making videos off of it. So, and I can't get back to where I was, that and I just do not want to. So we are, um, we're just gonna start here and just go with it. If you want to know what you missed, just watch cutscenes, alright? Until you get to this exact point in Hogsmeade, alright? Just do that. But anyway, <laughs> now that you got that over with, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, like, and subscribe, and all that shit, and yeah. Uh, hello. I'll take that, thank you. Rebellion! Uh, That's outside. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Okay. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Sure yes, I, I, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander is the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers hey, in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Okay. Well, go ahead, swish. Oh. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Nope. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> nope. Uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Okay. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Okay. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay. Yep, this is it. Whoa. Uh. Okay, not your phoenix better. Yeah, I think I'll go with this. How intriguing. What do you think? Extraordinary. 
Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay. Well, thank you. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Find me. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard Hi. the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though. I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Uh, what am I supposed to later on? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Will do. See ya. Pardon hey. me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. I changed my appearance a bit. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Will do. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Will do. Oh, hello there. Please, come in. Hello. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the ditany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling, Frimitor. Not at all. Mm. 
I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart no, out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're up. My natty. Yeah. Rebellion. Hey, Nanny. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Okay. What's happening? That's a troll. <laughs> okay. Boss fight! There's a dodge mechanic now. Noted. Are we weakening him at all? No. Troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were yeah. glad to help. I'd say help yeah, is a bit of an times, understatement. Fine. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer, Will do. officer singer, and thank you Kay. again. Welcome. Well, oh, well, okay. Prepare to damage. All oh, right. Okay. Right, really. obvious one. Holy shit. Huh. 
Isn't that something? Rebellion. Oh, I see you. Hey, 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 come, you come back here. Just oh. talking about you, Rebellion. Really? That's on your side, all right? Hello. Hello, sir. I tried talking to you earlier. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Uh, Plenty for your sure. perusal today. Take your time. Well, this is the only thing I can get, so. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. That's a clap. Well. Yep, I remember. Was there actually any real change there? Ooh. Uh, I guess we can sell this now. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Ah, uh, I kind of want to buy these, but at the same time, mm, I got a thousand. Uh, you know what? No, I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three uh, brooms? Sure. Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. You're most welcome well, to okay. <laughs> this fits remarkably well. I literally look like the Mad Hatter. <laughs> oh, Alice. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Yeah, right on tea. Okay, I'll stop. I literally look like the Mad Hatter. What the hell? Oh man, look at him. You said you could get to the Chug when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <laughs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What is that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. <laughs> oh man, that Quickly, outfit. <laughs> let's get inside the three broomsticks. God, we really stand out, don't we? <laughs> it's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. It's a deep ass voice, holy shit. <laughs> Oh, 
Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> Your voice it's is my first time here. Welcome. Fuck. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My Your pleasure. Voice is... I will say... <sighs> trolls, I can't get over it. <laughs> That's never happened Jesus, before. your voice is deeper than... Something's not right. Fuck the only the brutes we usually have to deal with. What the hell? Oh. Was that Logok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. Thank you. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. I cannot take Seems you've made an unfortunate <laughs> enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. Uh, but it's perhaps best I do that later. Yeah. <laughs> I think that now might be a good time to head back to... Rook so? I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on. And I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Uh, oh. You come here for the night, okay. Uh, yep. Here, I'm assuming. And then, uh... All right. Well, it's nice to be back. Rebellion. Ah, back in the old one. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Okay. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Well, that works. Revelio. Oi! Can you help me? Hi. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought perhaps a fellow Hufflepuff might have the perseverance to join me in a bit of an adventure. Following oh. a treasure map, to be precise. Oh. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Oh. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff scheme. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Sure. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me! You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Okay. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, 
I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Okay. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. No, then. Oh. Uh... What? What am I looking at? I excuse me? So, Hecate's clip. Here we go. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Okay. If it looks like it's supposed to be by a dragon fountain, the tree... There's the this. fountain. I'm getting closer. Okay. I'll get to you in a bit. This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Oh. Okay. Knew it. Okay, that's there cool. There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Ooh. Hey. Any progress with Hello, you? Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever. Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted yeah, you to join me. It. Well, hey. on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Oh man, look at me. Looks like I'm someone from like Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Did I? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Hello? Alright. I will be taking that, thank you. Hey, you like my new outfit, Professor? Pretty cool, huh? You don't care, do you? Okay. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why sent trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Sorona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Hmm. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. Probably not. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. But I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. Wow. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected mm -hmm. you would see something. Should we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how oh. dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Hello. Professor Hecate know to expect you. Hello. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. 
As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, hey, right. come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Oh. You know where to find me once you've finished. I think so. We shall see who shows up. Uh... Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Hell yeah. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Uh... Natty. Yes, Natty. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Uh-huh. Uh, violent spells. Uh, yeah, I, I, I get it. Okay. Ow. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Hell yeah. Pity more people can't watch the duel. Uh, bravo. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that Hello. last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance of winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Isn't that fun? Perhaps I should stick to potions. You could have gone a bit easier on me. No. Seems I'm out of the tournament thanks to you. Yeah, don't get so bitchy about it. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Sure. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Good one. I get it. Let me listen. Let's go. Okay. Next time, 
I get it. I didn't do anything. Alright. Hi. Practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Oh, thank you. Assignment's all finished. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, Focus on the proper wand movement. Will do. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Hell yeah. All right. Um. Wait. Wait. Good work. Oh. Well, I feel like I can. Yeah. I don't know what I can use. Yeah. Let's try it. It's a Oh. Use your help. Hello. You wanted to speak with me. I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hophouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course, confronting trolls and dragons. Right. Um. Thanks. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is, in fact, warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. A what? Uh... Well, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. 
What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Okay. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. I'll do. And like another... Yeah, there she is. The Dedalian keys are back! Aren't they you know really... Is everything alright? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Uh, Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Mong, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task. You may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Hmm. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, hello. Well. A Dedalian key. I wonder where it might lead me. I I I think I know. Uh. Is it there? There's the cabinet. Oh, okay. How do I get this key in there? Uh. Brilliant. Oh. Okay. An old coin. Okay. House token. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Revelio. You able to follow one of the Dedalian? Yep. Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Hmm. Keep an eye out. Okay. I do hope. Oh, look at that. Wait, I think I. Incendio! Hmm? Oh, oh, okay. So, which one's that? Okay. And that should be a three. Oh wow, okay. And then this one should be a two. Is there other is there other ones? So I'm pretty sure I got him. Rebellion. Unless I didn't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got that right. Is there another one? There is. Incendio! Okay, what were these ones? Uh... 
Okay, so the one on the left was, uh, okay, a three, and then that one, the triangle's a one, okay. This is the triangle first. Alright, so the triangle was a one, alright, we got that. And then this one was a three. Wait. Oh, they were both, which, okay. Wait, this could be the opposite. So, this could be a one. And this could be a three. Knew it! Gotcha! I saw that too. Alright, let's uh, head on down. Revelio! Oh, hello. If I can find any. I'm sure you find some. <gasps> it's you! Thank you again for finding my gobstones. I never could have done it myself. Welcome. This must be seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite oh. a few by the look of it. Okay. Fifteen more to go. Shit. Well. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Hello. Incendio. Alright, here we go. Whoa. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. I can't believe I cannot believe I'm doing Devil's this. Devil's snare. Story. Seems to thrive in darkness. Oh, no, Perhaps no, no, it doesn't no, care no, for no. light. Incendio! Oh, Lumos. Ah. Lumos. Okay. Imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be oh, enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. I wait a minute, I should have. Found anything to uh, prove? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's King Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. You Thank that. you for all of your help. No more Puff's King Dunking for me. Hello. Ah, there you are. Hi. 
Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Eckert. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. Oh, I would okay. think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. Okay. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Hmm. Will do. You know what? I am gonna do this in the next episode. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, come on. Dude, come on, come on, look. Look at me. Come on, dude. Okay. You know what? Forget it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. Hopefully my audio didn't fuck up on me again. But, um, yeah. I really got nothing else to say, so... Hope you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and watch it, and see you on the next video. Bye-bye!